Hi everyone, my name is Sabrina. This is my first discussion for English 169. First, I'm going to talk about reading as a child. The farthest back I can remember reading was probably in kindergarten when we would sit at our center rotations and we would make the little books and read them. Um, but I know that my mom and dad did read to me a lot. Um, my mom would read us a story every night before bed and I really looked forward to it. I had my oldest brother, he would read to me a lot. Um, and I really loved it. I really loved reading and stories. I don't really remember looking at books before I could read, but I know that I did. I actually have a picture of when I was probably like maybe two or three, probably two. And I'm just sitting in my little chair reading kind of looks like a tractor's manual with different shoes on um but obviously i didn't know how to read at that age but i was really interested in books i have had four other siblings so we already had a lot of books for me to play with read mess around with but um i usually read in my bed at school or at my little chair like i had just showed you Today, I, I read at work. Um, I'm an instructional aide for the Waterford School District. So I teach fluency. So I just read passages with children every single day for 15 minutes in small groups. Um, and they're divided up by their reading ability. So I read a lot of different stories, different speeds, and I just build on their skills and try to improve them. So I do read every day, but personally I haven't read a book just for fun in a long time and I think that's probably because I usually will just watch a movie or watch YouTube. But I did think, I do think that the early years did influence me because um, I obviously became a reading teacher and I still like to read. I think what happened was we had the AR system in play at our school where um, you would get points based on the tests that you took from the books you read. So I remember being very anxious about those deadlines and being really stressed out that, you know, I wasn't going to reach my AR goal in time, even though I was a good reader and I did like it. It just became such a chore. It wasn't fun anymore. It wasn't pleasure reading or anything like that it was just more of like another task to do. But moving on, I do think that reading aloud is very valuable to children. Um, they kind of absorb the vocabulary and they're being entertained at the same time. Um, I am an early childhood educator and I use books as tools for learning and to share a message. Say we're having a child who um, is biting or hitting at the preschool, not at the kinder and first and um, we kind of will introduce a book talking about that struggle and how we can fix that and appropriate behavior. So I think that they, the books are really helpful and reading aloud um, is really useful uh, because it does, it can spark an interest in something for a child that they may have not known before. Um, moving on with history, um, I thought the history of children's literature was pretty interesting because prior to John Locke there was, it was not really taken seriously, um, the whole importance of child development. So um, there was no curriculum. They were just thought of as small adults. And then John Locke, the philosopher, he started to educate adults in how important this stage is and he started to create and inspire others to create children literature for children and to use it as a tool for entertainment and to teach. So I thought that was um, interesting. And there was also the children from the Puritan days when um, they were being warned of dangers and sin and they were taught how to live a pure life, um, such as James Janeway's A Token for children being an exact count of the conversion, holy and exemplary lives, and joyful deaths of several young children from 1672. Another important piece of literature were chapbooks, which were cheap books that they printed with 
alphabet and little rhymes designed specifically for children. Um, and then my favorite was the Ballad of the Friar and the Boy, where a young boy made his stepmother flatulate, um, which was hilarious. Um, the culture to, of adult to child storytelling began when mothers decided that they were the ones who needed to educate their children, um, such as Eleanor Fenn and her book, um, The Art of Teaching in Sport from 1785, which was created to teach for mothers to teach their own children. And the change in culture resulted in adult to child storytelling that passed from generations to generations, typically from mothers. Um, also, many famous pieces from children's literature was created by parents as stories for their own children or inspired by their children such as The Pooh Stories by A.A. A. Milne. Um, other works such as William Makepeace Thackeray's The Rose and the Ring, which was inspired by his own life and the absence of a maternal figure from his life and um, his daughter's life. Uh, moving on, my favorite mother goose rhymes were Little Miss Muffet, Humpty Dumpty, and Hey Diddle Diddle. And honestly, I don't know where I learned these from. Um, I think a lot of us know them. Uh, they're just very well known. I don't know if I learned them at school or if my mom sang them. She sings a lot of songs that were from her childhood too that I've never heard of before, um, but I'll definitely be passing those down. Um, but I do think that they're important. They're just part of history. And um, I think that they're fun and silly children really enjoy them and because they're rhymes they get stuck in their head and it promotes literacy and language development um next is about keeping up with the assignments i did personally i just got a library card it's the first library card i ever got and i'm kind of excited um to check out these books and read them i think my students will be really excited um yeah uh, lastly, I'm here because this is my last semester at MJC and I have really always wanted to take this class, even more so now that I um, am teaching literacy. I think it's important that I know what books the kids are interested in and maybe even show them some books that they didn't know about. So I think that'll be really fun and um, I'm encouraged even more to just learn. So that's all for this discussion. Thank you.